Well, the Guide to Pharmacology uh, is basically a database uh, which includes information about every drug target in the in the human genome. That is every every aspect of the of human biology that that we feel is druggable, and also the uh, drugs which uh, act upon these targets. So by going to that database, one can find out the state of the art uh, in a particular area of pharmacology. The guide emerged from uh, two different databases, a database by the International Union for Pharmacology. And in parallel to that, the British Journal of Pharmacology had a, a, a database called GRAC, the Guide to Receptors and Channels. Uh, and this database contained um, a similar uh, set of information, but not identical, on a slightly different basis. And we realised uh, about five years ago that it was, um, it was rather pointless to have these two exercises producing two different but very similar sets of data, sometimes asking the same people. So we merged the two into the Guide to Pharmacology, which was uh, run by the International Union, but partly funded by the British Pharmacological Society. We publish the guide in the journal, so that it's there available as a, an item of record, so that if one looks back at any particular period of time, uh, one knows the, the, the state of play, the state of the art at that time for particular drug targets and which were the important drugs for that. So um, authors can, can use that as a, as a means of uh, placing their work in the context of the, of the state of the, the art. Uh, more recently, we've taken that a step further by hyperlinking from papers that are published in the journal to that database so that for any author, uh, their papers will be linked to this um, international union database.